Hello people, today's video will be about a review on the Eagle Tech RGB keyboard, a mechanical gaming keyboard that I am now using on my main gaming rig, which is still the first generation i7 using a 1050 GTX, sorry, a GTX 1050 Ti SC using an Arctic Accelero Twin Turbo 3, uh, to keep it cool. I will also be doing a mini review on the uh, gaming mouse that I use with it, both for Eagle Tech products. The keyboard was uh, 50 bucks, and the mouse was 10. It's very good to have them, and well, I like to click, click, click of them. So I hope y'all enjoy my video. So to start today's review, it's about the RGB mechanical keyboard made by Eagle Tech and the nice little mouse that I bought as well which only has a single blue LED so no it is not RGB. This setup cost me about 60 bucks total. Uh, the RGB keyboard, uh, excuse me I'm having to use a different camera. The RGB keyboard allows you to change colors, has several different modes. As you can see, cycles through several colors, especially one where it's lit up by basically all the colors. Bunch of the modes can be switched through, whoops, wrong button. Uh, holding down the function key and pressing these buttons here. If you can see, it's got little digits on the bottom of them, which allows you to change how the keyboard functions. This one just cycles slowly through all the colors. Let's see if I can speed it up. Nope. Then it does that. Uh, I don't think that should have shut it off. Oh, I see. It slowly cycles through. So I normally leave it on the light blue variant of the colors because, well, I'm currently in that kind of mood. Let's see. That one will cycle like that. Uh, if you remember from a previous video when I did the unboxing, I said that you could cycle through the colors and when you press the key, it would spread out in a wave-like pattern. Let's see. Number three has a nice wave effect. You can once again change all the colors. I will not mention the colors anymore because that gets boring after a while. As you can see, this one's basically making a circle. And then it can change the rain like style. That's the color I like. Next we'll do function 4. Oh, something else you can do is reverse how it does it. By holding function and pressing the left arrow key. The function down is to dim it, function up is to make it brighter. As you notice at the top, it uh, flashes all three of the LEDs up top if you have maxed out one of the settings. Back to testing out different styles. I like that one. But as you can see, it's got multiple styles. That is what I originally had it set to. Just so y'all know, I will be recording on a second camera, just in case this one doesn't pan out, which I shouldn't have said that, just because I'm recording on a voice recorder that I bought. Now, if y'all remember me saying that, back in the mini content review thingy of the Eagle Tech mouse, oh, see, HDMI 3, 
The mouse has these two buttons here and here, and they are supposedly programmable. Uh, I have the software installed, uh, which I'll do an overview using my video recording software, but just see if I can show you a little bit of what it looks like. They're pre-programmed. You cannot do anything. You can't make custom uh, inputs for it. That is my only complaint about this. Uh, on the bottom is for the cycling of using it with uh, LED, without LED, or turning it off. If you buy this mouse, I suggest you put some kind of ribbon underneath the battery, as the battery, it, the mouse doesn't come with one. The battery is a pain in the ass to get out. I wound up having to use a knife of mine, which I almost pierced the battery last time, and that's when I stopped using my rechargeables on this particular mouse. But, yeah, that is the review of the Eagle Tech uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, I will post a link in the description on where you can buy them. And I will do a nice quick screen, nice quick screen cap on all that. Uh, how if I'm recording on my voice recorder, I might as well just do it here. Okay, close the camera. So, as you can see, I am heading to my Amazon account. Wow, that's big. Sorry, I had it zoomed in, and you won't see any of this because I'll be recording after all this. Jump to orders. Go down to, you know what, we'll just search it. Eagle Tech. Here's the keyboard. It is $49.99. It has Prime shipping. Uh, I looked on the Eagle Tech website. I can't not actually find the RGB variant on their website anywhere. Uh, that leads me to believe that it is not a true Eagle Tech product. Um, but if it is, it's probably one that wasn't supposed to be released yet or something. I don't know, I'm not going to actually speculate on it. As you can see here is the Eagle Tech MG010 2.4 GHz wireless gaming mouse. It has two buttons on the top for adjusting the DPI between 800, 1200, 1600, 2000, and 2400. Uh, very useful for when you are gaming. Um, this mouse cost me $10, it also has prime shipping. Uh, it comes with one year warranty, customer service. I will say that I did contact customer service over the mouse. Uh, they were very helpful and they sent me a direct link to download the software. Uh, but yeah, that is my review of the RGB keyboard and mouse uh, made by Eagle Tech. Nice brush and finish on the keyboard. Oh, and the mouse is very nice and ergonomic. My hand does not hurt using it, and I wish I could bring it to work. Hello people, I hope you enjoyed my video today. Uh, make sure my voice recorder is working. Um, today's video was quickly put together because I missed last week's video due to more mandatory overtime where I work. I will let you all know that I work in a returns facility and our backlogs massive uh, not because we sell bad products it's just we recently had a massive selling so as you I give you a few things that I want to tell you one of the things is that people just don't want it people spent too much money and need to return to get their money back things like that I don't blame anyone for returning stuff I spend crap loads of money on my computer parts and stuff just so I can make videos for you all uh, but anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the review of the RGB mechanical Eagle Tech keyboard and gaming mouse. Gaming mouse is not, well, I guess you could call it mechanical. Anyways, uh, the next video will be how to disassemble, clean, repair certain sections of the original Xbox. The one Microsoft came out around early 2000. Uh, 
and uh, how to do a few other things with it. I will also show that it works afterwards so that y'all may see it uh, when I first bought it. <coughs> it uh, the CD drive did not eject and it will not fully read any disk. I have repaired those issues and I will show in the video why that happened and how I repaired them. I also show you how to properly fix the red ring of death. Anyone that claims that it can be fixed by remelting this, remelting that, the red rings happen for a reason. Nine times out of ten it's due to overheating because the thermal paste, thermal pad, which our one was used when they were made, because it's different sometimes, uh, has gone bad or was not properly applied. And the video after that will be me showing you how to dismantle, clean, and get a Xbox 360 going. I will not do the one because that is considered new technology even though it's not really new. And that's pretty much it for now. Again, I am sorry. I am currently working 50 to 60 hours man, uh, a week at work. And it's kind of kicking my butt. <laughs> well, if you all like this video, press like. If you disliked it, press dislike. I just ask that you please leave a review on why you disliked it and what I can do better. Uh, yes, I know I say a lot. It's a verbal tick, I guess you'd call it. Um, <laughs> but I hope you all have a good night, good day, whatever time zone you're in. Uh, subscribe, please. I one day hope to get a lot of subscribers and show you all technology can continue to work. I'm currently using the Pentium 4 as a uh, PF sense router. And I will show the installation procedures on that when I have a three days off again. Hope y'all hope y'all have a good day.